So we're back with an updated version of a first turn kill using our big fish. If you're unfamiliar with how this FTK works, Agave Dragon inflicts burn damage to the opponent if you have a dragon in your graveyard. This triggers Beal's effect. If you take damage, Beal's will gain attack equal to the damage you took. This then triggers Red Eyes. If your opponent activates a card or effect, Red Eyes will inflict 500 damage immediately after it resolves. Both Beal's and Red Eyes are not once per turn, so this causes an infinite loop until your opponent's life points drops to zero. After spending a few days theory crafting, I finally cooked up an extra deck with zero URs. So in the budget deck, you really only need Coelacanth as URs in the main deck, though you can also add URs that increase the consistency of the deck, like Monster Reborn, Foolish Burial, One for One, and Two Called Buys. In the extra deck, you can add URs like the Fusion Trishula, which is found in the Legacy Pack, so you might already have it. This card is to help with the Abyss Keeper combo line by removing Abyss Keeper from the field. You can also add URs that help you in going second, like the Synchro, Trishula Zero, and Zeus. This deck doesn't like going second, like all the FTK decks, it's mostly just for the memes. So there are three main combo lines. The first is Dugaris. We'll need to get Leaf Fish on the field to send Coelacanth to the graveyard. Here we'll use Summoner Monk to discard one spell to summon Leaf Fish from the deck. When Leaf Fish is summoned, it can send one fish from your deck to the graveyard. So there goes Coelacanth. Using Leaf Fish and another level 4 monster, we can Exe Summon into Dugaris. We'll use Dugaris' second effect at the cost of skipping our main phase 1 the following turn. Fortunately, we're playing an FTK deck, so there is no following turn. This effect special summons a monster from your graveyard in defense position. With Coelacanth now on the field, we can discard one card to special summon 4 fish from the deck. We'll summon a level 3 tuner and 3 level 4 fish. Using Coelacanth, a level 4 fish, and Dugaris, we'll link summon into a link 3 monster triple burst dragon. Agave Dragon needs a dragon in the graveyard to inflict damage. So we'll send our triple burst dragon to the graveyard by link summoning into Repodacus. Using our tuner and our level 4 fish, we'll synchro summon into Monoceros. We'll use Monoceros' effect to bring back our Coelacanth. We'll use Leaf Fish to shuffle our tuners back into the deck. And then we'll draw a card. We'll use Coelacanth to summon a level 1 monster, a level 4 tuner, and a level 3 tuner right below Reprodacus. We can use Reprodacus' second effect to change the attribute of a monster it points to. We'll use its effect to give us a level 3 dark tuner. Using our level 1 monster and our level 4 tuner, we can Synchro Summon into Garden Rose Maiden. When Synchro Summoned, it can add the Black Garden Field spell to your hand. And because we have a dark tuner on the field, we can Synchro Summon into Beals using the level 3 tuner and Garden Rose Maiden. Now we can link away our Beals and Repodacus into Geonator. We'll activate the Black Garden Field spell. We can banish Garden Rose Maiden to special summon a Dragon Synchro from the graveyard. We'll use it to special summon Beals to a zone Geonator points to. Black Garden then lets us summon a token to their side of the field. If Geonator points to two monsters, you can switch control of those monsters. We'll use Black Garden to target the Reproducus in the graveyard, destroying the field spell and the token to special summon Reproducus. Using Monoceros and Coelacanth, we can Exe summon into Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Now, using our two Link 2s, we can Link Summon into a Gave Dragon. If a Gave Dragon is Link Summoned, it can inflict 100 damage to your opponent for each dragon in your graveyard. Beals gains attack equal to the damage you took, and Red Eyes deals 500 damage every time they activate a card. 
And now for our Ice Jade Tremora combo. Before summoning Coelacanth from the hand, we'll try to see if we can bait any interruptions. If the opponent has an Ash Blossom, then hopefully they'll use it on Leaf Fish. Ice Shade Tremora can send itself from the hand to the graveyard to special summon one water monster from your hand. And remember, Coelacanth has an effect that negates cards that target it by tributing one fish on the field. This time we'll summon a level 1 monster, a level 4 tuner, and a level 3 tuner. We'll synchro summon into Garden Rose Maiden. and add the Black Garden Field Spell to our hand. We'll link away Garden Rose and Coelacanth to Link Summon into Reaper Dacus. Then we'll Synchro Summon into Monoceros to summon Coelacanth from the graveyard. Leafish will then shuffle our tuners back into the deck. And we'll draw a card. Then we'll use Coelacant to summon a level 4 tuner below Repodacus and two other level 4 monsters. Repodacus will change the attribute of our level 4 tuner into a dark type. And then we'll Synchro Summon into Beals. We need to get a dragon in the graveyard, so we'll Link Summon into Triple Burst Dragon using Repodacus and our extra fish. Now we can Link Summon into Geonator, sending our dragon to the graveyard. Now we can activate the Black Garden Field Spell. In the graveyard, we can banish the Garden Rose Maiden to special summon Beals to a zone Geonator points to. Black Garden summons the token to a zone Geonator points to on the opponent's side of the field. Now we can activate Geonator to switch control of those monsters. Black Garden can summon Reprodacus from the graveyard to destroy the token in the field spell. Now we can Exe summon into Red Eyes. And for the final touch, we can Link Summon into a Agave Dragon using Repodacus and Geonator. Now for the Abyss Keeper combo line, we just need to get two water monsters on the field. Here we'll Normal Summon Leaf Fish. Then we'll Special Summon Stingray. We'll Link into Abyss Keeper using two water monsters to Special Summon a fish from the hand to a zone Abyss Keeper points to. Coelacant will summon 3 level 4 fish and a level 3 tuner. We'll banish Abyss Keeper and 2 level 4 monsters to summon the Fusion Trishula. The Fusion Trishula is a dragon, so we'll send it to the graveyard by linking it into Reaper Duckus. Now we can Synchro Summon into Monoceros to bring Coelacant back. Then use Leaf Fish to shuffle our tuners back into the deck to draw a card. We'll summon a level 1 monster, a level 4 tuner, and a level 3 tuner below Repo Dacus, changing it into a dark tuner, and then synchro summoning to Garden Rose Maiden, adding the Black Garden Field spell to our hand. And now using the dark tuner, we'll synchro summon into Beals, linking away Beals and Repo Dacus into Geonator. We'll activate the field spell. Now we can banish Garden Rose Maiden to summon Beals from the graveyard. The field spell will summon a token to their side of the field. And now we can switch control using Geonator. We'll use the field spell to summon Reproducus. Now we can summon our Red Eyes. And it looks like the opponent knows exactly what's about to happen. And this is just a mean deck. It has no going second strategy. So just don't go second.